There are only but a handful of companies out there that are really design driven. Companies that put priority in design over everything else. We could name them. Companies like Nike or Oakley or even Alessi. But there is one company out there that stands amongst them all. A company that has made consumer electronics to be just a tool to the epitome of products. The top of the food chain of all products. And that is Apple and their iPhone line. So if you guys haven't heard yet, Apple just recently announced their very next iPhones. The very new iPhones for this year. The iPhone 7 and the iPhone 7S. Now, if you probably haven't heard the specs and all the new stuff about them yet, you could probably just imagine what it is. You know, better screens, better camera, better processors, better batteries, right? Who cares? But... There is one major decision that they made that, you know, took some risks. They decided to remove the headphone jack. Being an industrial designer, that really intrigues me. It makes me wonder why Apple decided to remove the headphone jack. Because if you obviously did the research, having the headphone jack in there is still a relevant thing. Okay, sure, it's old, it's analog and all that stuff, but just do the research. There are tons and tons of people still using the 3.5 millimeter jack. Being the most influential design driven company out there as industrial designers we really need to ask ourselves why why did Apple decide to remove the 3.5 millimeter jack why did they make that decision even though it doesn't seem like it's best for the product it really makes you wonder but I mean I know that a lot of you guys are probably thinking that other Android phones have had non 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks before and Apple isn't the only one isn't the first one to do it but to be honest guys Really think about it. How many Android phones are there per year? There's so many from LG, so many from Motorola, so many from Samsung, so many from all of these other companies. Who really cares if there's no headphone jack on one Android phone? Because if that Android phone doesn't have it, then I'm pretty sure all of these other ones might have it too. No one really cares. For Apple though, there's only two phones. Two phones that come out every year, so they really need to do a good job, nail the decisions, two chances to get it right. This has been a topic that's really intrigued me, being a product developer, a product designer, an industrial designer. I've come to the conclusion, the reason why Apple decided to remove the 3.5 millimeter jack in their largest line, their biggest line, their cash cow, is because it's a committed decision on their part to move forward into the future to achieve their vision of wireless audio experience. For having a vision and making these huge commitments today to move closer and closer to them is what makes Apple, Apple. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Just a random Wednesday video. Thought I'd make it just because Apple did announce the biggest product out there, the iPhone 7. And let me know what you guys think about the reasons why Apple decided to remove the headphones jack down in the description. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of me, hit that subscribe button and my videos will come right to you. I make videos every Monday and sometimes special ones like these. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.